Welcome to part 2 of the video series Silence Your Creality 3D Printer. In this part we're dealing with the MKS Gen version 1.4 board which we're going to use to apply the silent stepper motor drivers um, the TMC2208 to our Creality 3D Ender 2 printer. Before we hook up the board to the computer and before we upload the firmware, I'm going to give you a short overview about the specifications or the pins and ports of the board. Let's start right here <clears throat> in, with this first terminal. This is your power input, 12 or 24 volts, where you uh, hook up the line from the power supply into the board. In this terminal you're gonna connect your heating bed, heated bed and this is where the f uh, part cooling fan goes which we just uh, built in the previous episode. On these two terminals uh, you gotta connect um, your hot end uh, this board supports actually two hot ends with two extruders, but we're only go going to need one. Up here, and this is one of the greater advantages, which makes it very easy uh, to build with this board. Uh, you have this color-coded plugs for your X, Y, Z stepper motors and for one extruder and the second extruder here. And um, what you see here are basically the ports for your stepper motor drivers. Um, in this build we're going to use the TMC2208. Um, I, I bought a pack of uh, with this board containing this board and those stepper motor drivers and a larger display at AliExpress for around 50 euros. Here is one of those TMC2208 stepper motors and when we're having a look at the pins um, we see that one row of pins has black plastic while the other row has blue plastic. Um, this simply uh, is for orientation reasons. You have the chip down here and you simply put black onto black in this board and green and blue together then you just plug it in like that and that's all you how you do that's all you do to plug your stepper motor drivers in you can apply those for Y and Z as well and for your extruder uh, down here we have um, the mounts for the end stops again color coded we have mounts for min and max end stops at the Ender 2 and all the other Creality printers we only have the min end stops. And down here you have um, acceptors for your uh, for your thermistors of the hot end and of the heated bed. And here last but not least we have the connectors for the LCD, the stock Ender. Some other important uh, pins you find over here. These are the 12 volt pins where you're going to hook up your um, hot end fan and these pins over here uh, we have a 5 volt output you, co you could uh, hook up a Raspberry Pi using Octoprint onto these 5 volt pins over here we have servo pins if you're using a bed leveling sensor as I do this is going to be hooked up here and uh, in the uh, Z end stop over here we have the uh, connector for USB which we're going to use to hook up the board onto the computer. What we're go going to do right now um, is to hook that up and set the firmware up to upload it onto the MKS board. Alright, in uh, order to upload the Marlin firmware onto the MKS 1.4 um, we have to download the Arduino IDE. You can download it from uh, arduino.cc, uh, go to software and downloads, and then you find it up down here. Um, download the Windows installer if you're using Windows or uh, 
your desired operation, operation system. After download, just install it wherever you want to install it. And then we also need the Marlin firmware. You can get that um, at marlinfw.org. And you simply hit download here. And you want to download the latest release, which is Marlin 1.1.8 at the moment. And if everything went as um, as we wanted, you can uh, unzip the Marlin firmware, go to the folder, hit here Marlin, and have a look for the Marlin Eno, which should open up. Um, automatically in the Arduino IDE. Well, and here we are. Well, this is how it looks like uh, when you enter your Marlin firmware. Um, just a short disclaimer at the beginning. Um, what I'm showing here is an already modified uh, Marlin firmware for the Ender 2. So um, if you're seeing any any points uh, I'm not explaining but uh, you see differences to your uh, configuration um, you might <coughs> just um, copy those things so when you open it up uh, you see a whole bunch of uh, different tabs over here um, most of which are not of greater interest for our Marlin firmware configuration um, we want to use the configuration dot h at the beginning so let's have a closer look at th this configuration h so you have to do a lot of configuration in here um, we can define whether we have a delta or a scara printer but the ender and all the other um, reality printers are simply XYZ. Um, here you can define the baud rate, which is uh, the communication interface speed uh, for the communication between printer and computer. I decided for 250,000. Uh, if that doesn't work, um, you might want to try 150,200 because this is the standard protocol for the stock ender. Um, one of the most important um, settings you will find down here. We define the motherboard we're using. I decided for board RAMs 14 EFB, which stands for extruder, fan and heated bed. Um, for the other options you have, you can have a look at the uh, boards.h. We're using a RAMs 1.4 because the MKS is basically a RAMs within onboard Arduino. Um, the RAMS 1.4 EFB is what we are decided for, but you can also uh, use the board with two hot ends and one heated bed or a hot end of, and two fans, whatever you like. Um, there are some other boards down here um, if you're using another board. So we simply copy that over and again put it into the configurations.h. The next important um, settings are the thermal settings um, in which we define the thermistors uh, our printer uses. In the case of the Creality printers we have the generic 100k thermistors um, so it's number one and we have two of them one is on the hot end so we define temp sensor zero as number one and the other is at the heated bed so we define temp sensor bed also as number one and further down here we have um, the security shutoffs for the uh, maximum temperatures I decided since I'm only printing PLA and PETG yet um, that my hot end is, has a cutoff at 260 degrees centigrade and my bad max temp is uh, 100 degrees centigrade Okay, uh, the next settings we're going to change are the end stop settings. The Creality printers usually uh, only use uh, minimum end stops on the X, Y and Z axis. Uh, we don't have a maximum 
um, end steps. So we simply need to out comment those and only define the minimum blocks. Um, if you recognize that your axes are not moving unless you're pushing your end stops, you might want to change orientation of the plugs on your board or directly invert uh, them on the firmware and upload the firmware again. One of the most important settings are the movement settings here um, from for which you can get all the information right out of your printer. Um, you can check for those numbers uh, on your LCD screen. So before you um, install the new board, make sure you go into your settings on the printer and write down those settings. Uh, if you're using an ender, you can simply copy those values I wrote down here uh, because those are the ones you find within the stock firmware of the ender. Also down here, those jerk settings. If you recognize after uploading the firmware that one of your axes is going into the wrong direction, um, you want to check on the invert the stepper direction section. Um, in my case, um, when I wanted the Z axis to going down, uh, it went up. So I set the uh, in invertation of the Z axis simply to true. Um, so before you start really printing, be sure that all your axes go into the right direction. Um, down here, um, we have to set in which direction uh, the homing will take place. Uh, the minus direction means homing takes place towards the minimum stops. Um, and yeah, this is what we're going to want. Um, at the size of the print bed, you can de de um, define the, the sizes of the bed in millimeter. So for the ender, it's 165 times 165 till the outer limits. And you can also uh, define the minimum um, positions, which is like the home is zero, and the maximum is like the bed size in X and in Y. And the maximum position for Z in case of the end is 200 or 205 millimeters. Very far down in the configuration.h, you will find the LCD and SD support. Um, in this section, you're gonna define whether you want to use um, SD card and which LCD you're using. Um, you can define the LCD language here. In my case, it's German. You'll find all the other languages up here. Um, you don't change that, the better. Uh, and if you want um, SD support, uncomment this one. Um, and a little bit further down here, you can define all the different uh, displays. In my case, um, I defined the RepRap Discount Full Graphic Smart Controller, which is the uh, big display, um, which was delivered by AliExpress. So this is it for the uh, configuration.h um, so far, but we also have to define some things in the configuration advanced, for example, the TMC stepper drivers. So let's go to the configuration advanced.h and there you want to search for the stepper drivers you're using. In this case, it's the TMC2208 and there's a special section for this TMC2230 and TMC2208. Uh, we don't have the TMC2130 but we defined the TMC2208 um, and down here we out commented uh, every stepper uh, motor which is which has uh, TMC2208 in my case the XYZ and extruder all of them have this stepper driver um, down here you can uh, define the RMS current um, I recommend using a value n not higher than 800 
um, then your stepper motor drivers won't get too hot uh, but we're cooling them in our build anyways um, simply copy those uh, settings and you're good definitely down here we define stealth shop as standard for the ultra silent movement and that's that um, we're ready to hook up the board now to the computer and upload the firmware. Um, this is as follows, you just plug in your board, uh, hit upload and wait and then you're good. So I hope you enjoyed um, the second part of our uh, video series Silence Your Creality 3D Printer. And if you like what I'm doing, just uh, leave me a like, give a comment, consider buying me a coffee or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.